Merry Christmas! I hope you've had lovely holidays so far. I spent some quality time with my mom and my sister, which was really nice. We had so much good food. And I've been creating lots of fun new recipes for you. Not just any recipes, but ketogenic recipes that are higher in healthy fats and low in carbohydrates. And the ketogenic way of eating is basically a lifestyle where you teach your body to burn fat for fuel instead of glucose, instead of sugar. I've been eating this way since this summer and it's been helping me to deal with food cravings, to heal digestive issues and to deal with hormonal imbalances. And since so many of you seem to be curious about what's happening, maybe you're struggling with the same thing, I've started sharing my story, my experiences on the blog at julieslifestyle.com where you'll also find this week's recipe for butternut squash falafel with lemon tahini sauce. These are great to use leftover butternut squash like the one we had in the previous recipe video for roasted butternut squash with mushroom stuffing. I'll put the link in the description down below or you can find it somewhere up here. And these falafel make a really fun New Year's Eve appetizer. You can have them as a pre-dinner snack as well or I love serving them on a salad or in a wrap. And I've got a super tasty recipe for falafel wraps with avocado salsa coming up on the blog at Julie's Lifestyle next week so make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out all right let's get started to make the dough for these butternut squash falafel start by adding one cup of pumpkin seeds one cup of almonds these are sprouted and four tablespoons of ground flax seeds into a food processor fitted with an S-blade and then mix until finely ground I prefer using sprouted nuts and seeds because they are easier to digest and sweeter to taste. If you'd like me to make a video on how I sprout my nuts and seeds, definitely leave a comment down below. Then to the flour add 1 cup of baked butternut squash. And if you made a roasted butternut squash with mushroom stuffing I shared for Christmas, you can use the flesh you scooped out to make room for the stuffing. I also like to add lots of flavors, so I'm using 4 tablespoons of spices and today it's a mix of garam masala, curry powder and cumin. Then I like to add 1 teaspoon of turmeric powder which has really powerful health properties. It will help to lower inflammation, improve your digestion and increase your energy levels. And it's best to use it with black pepper and some kind of healthy fat to get the maximum benefits. Then add 1 tablespoon of apple cider vinegar or lemon juice to add some freshness, 1 to 1 and a half teaspoon of sea salt and a large pinch of black pepper. Alright, let's mix until well combined. Then for the crunchy coating of our falafel, mix 3 tablespoons of ground flax seeds with 3 tablespoons of sesame seeds and half a teaspoon of spices in a bowl. I used garam masala and cumin. Give it a quick stir and you've got flaxseed breadcrumb. Then using a small cookie scoop or a tablespoon measurer, scoop out small balls and roll them in the flaxseed breadcrumb. If you have a dehydrator at home, place the butternut squash falafel onto a dehydrator tray lined with a Teflex sheet and dehydrate at 115 degrees Fahrenheit, which is about 50 degrees Celsius, for four hours or longer, depending on how crispy you like them. If you're using a regular oven, preheat the oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit, that's 175 degrees Celsius, and bake the falafel for 15 minutes or longer until they're crunchy on the outside but still soft on the inside. Today I'm going to serve them as an appetizer with a creamy tahini sauce. For our lemon tahini sauce, just combine 4 tablespoons of tahini, which is basically ground sesame seed, with 3 tablespoons of water and 2 tablespoons of lemon juice. Then stir well until you've got a smooth dressing. Ta-da! Now I like to flavor it with plenty of sea salt, a very generous pinch of black pepper, and just a few drops of pure liquid stevia to add a hint of sweetness. But this is totally optional. You could add a spoonful of turmeric to the dressing as well. This lemon tahini sauce will keep for at least one week in the fridge, so you could make a big batch 
and have it with salads, wraps, steamed veggies. Yum! When your falafel are ready, take them out of the dehydrator or oven and plate them with the tahini sauce. I also like to sprinkle them with parsley or cilantro. Enjoy! Oh my, these falafel are calling my name! Time for a taste test! Mmm, they're crunchy on the outside, soft on the inside and the lemon tahini sauce makes them even better. I can't wait to hear what you think of these falafels, so definitely let me know by leaving a comment down below and by giving this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And if you're not already subscribed to our channel, please hit the subscribe button. We post new videos each week. Also, if you'd like to find out more about the ketogenic way of eating, let me know in the comments down below. So thanks again for for watching guys i hope you'll have a good end of 2017 and i'll see you next year bye happy 2018 <laughs> mr george mm, such a sweetheart <laughs> he only has eyes for the falafel <laughs> not for your tummy bye bye